Coccidiosis, a disease of the digestive tract in poultry, is caused by an intracellular parasite called Imeria. In chickens, nine species of Imeria have been identified, of which five are pathogenic and responsible for the losses caused by coccidiosis. These five are Imeria necatrix, Maxima, Acevelina, Tanella and Brunetti. The Imeria parasites are not only species-specific, but also site-specific, each causing the disease in specific sites in the digestive tract. Imeria acevulina, Imeria maxima, Imeria necatrix, Imeria tonella, Imeria brunetti. Imeria parasites survive in the environment as an unsporulated oocyst. In the presence of moisture, heat and oxygen, the oocysts sporulate and become potentially infective. Each sporulated oocyst contains four sporocysts that each contain two sporozoites. Existation, releasing the sporozoites from the oocyst, is facilitated by physical grinding, bile sorts and trypsin in the digestive tract. The released sporozoites are then free to enter the enterocytes or intestinal epithelial cells. The first part of the life cycle is asexual, with two or three waves of entering enterocysts, developing into merozoites, multiplying, breaking the cell and infiltrating new enterocysts. After the asexual phase, the merozoites develop into male and female gametes, entering the sexual phase, resulting in a young oocyst. These young oocysts then break out of the cells, causing various degrees of gut epithelial damage, and are excreted in the feces as unsporulated, non-infective oocysts. Billions of dollars are lost annually due to direct and indirect losses caused by coccidiosis. Direct losses in the form of mortality can be from 5 to 30%. Coccidiosis usually occurs at 3 to 6 weeks of age, which is the most important period for chickens and turkeys. This leads to an unbalanced gut flora, wet litter, anemia, interference with nutrient absorption and growth retardation, resulting in a heterogeneous flock, increased feed conversion ratio and lower average daily gain. Vaccination of broiler breeders and free-range layers against coccidiosis is standard practice worldwide. Vaccination of broilers and turkeys is becoming more and more important, mainly due to the available anti-coccidials losing some or all of their efficacy because of resistance, as well as growing consumer pressure in reducing the use of chemicals and antibiotics in food-producing animals. Vaccines are an alternative to anticoccidials and an excellent way to restore the sensitivity to anticoccidials in broiler and turkey production. The Saver Immune Cox range of products contains the most important Imeria species for boiler breeders, commercial layers, broilers and turkeys. The key to successful vaccination is the application and recycling of shed oocysts on the farm. A uniform vaccine intake is achieved by using a unique gel system where vaccine is delivered in a gel suspension, forming gel droplets during the application at day old in the hatchery or on the farm. After the vaccine is given, it follows the normal life cycle as explained, and unsporulated oocysts are excreted into the environment. The birds have to be reinfected a second time and for some species like Imeria necatrix a third time, for those shed oocysts to boost the immune system and reach a protective immunity. 
This recycling is achieved by ensuring the environmental conditions, especially moisture, are conducive for sporulation, and also birds are kept in close proximity to shed oocysts to increase the chances of reinfection. This is done by carefully controlling and managing the stocking density. Vaccination success is dependent on the vaccine, uniform vaccine uptake, and successful recycling in the poultry house. 